Now, while the Xiaomi 14 has been released quite a bit ago, I finally got my hands on it. And there are some interesting things that I really like about a phone like this. Especially having that 3.2 times floating lens in there. That's something that is a great addition to Xiaomi phones. That's why I feel like it's a shame the 13 Ultra doesn't have it. But the 14 Ultra has it. I just don't have that. But that's beside the point. Let's look at the Xiaomi 14 and the camera performance of it. And we're going to go on some few trips. But we're going to start in Belgium. And we're going to go to Antwerp. Either way, join me on the trip. And let's showcase what the Xiaomi 14 is capable of. And trust me, it's going to be good. Now we're going to start with the lens that makes the most sense for me and was the best decision Xiaomi could have ever taken with this smaller form factor Xiaomi 14. The telephoto, the 3.2 times zoom floating lens technology inside it. This is such a good combo. The zoom is pretty solid and you can create some really good looking shots with it. With the style on authentic it also really gives that natural photography look everything just feels really well balanced and this is also which i will showcase a little bit later but makes editing shots such a pleasure on them and having so much character in the shot is just elevated by the location i am at i really wish the days of buildings having some beautiful architecture wasn't gone but sadly most of the modern looking buildings are quite white and lack character have a low roof and doesn't give me any inspiration these buildings these old buildings are made with love and passion and i'm all for it and the xiaomi 14 is really able to capture that so well the shots truly really stand out to me and xiaomi has been doing really well with leica here one of my favorite collaborations between the smartphone brand and a photography brand. I also tried implementing some street photography with people in the shots as well using portrait. And of course playing around with styles you can get on this phone. I really would advise if you get this phone or have for instance the Xiaomi 13 or even the 12 if I'm correct. You can use these filters and they really elevate some shots. And you can get so much more out of it. And of course the shot of the train conductor is really something that I like. Normally I'm not a fan of this style with a full body and blur. But in this case I really love the dramatic look but also the story this shot tells. And while these shots aren't taken in Belgium. I really want to showcase also the close up shots that you can get with it. The details that you get with the shots itself using this floating lens technology. Again this is a lens that I've praised on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. And I'm going to do the same for the Xiaomi 14. I really like what you get out of it. And it is a really well balanced system as well. Now let's move to the main sensor. And compared to the previous Xiaomi 13 we do get an upgrade. Going from a 1 over 149 inch sensor size to a 1 over 13 inch sensor size. And the f-stop is now 1.6 versus 1.8 on the Xiaomi 13. Again shots are really well balanced and you get some really natural looking colors and great contrast to them as well. Not shying away from adding some shadows that should be there. Giving the shots a bit more depth, a bit more life to them as well. In general there's very little to talk about because these shots look very appealing to me including some really solid dynamic range as well.
Now all lenses have a 50 megapixel resolution and the same goes for the ultra wide here, with it being a 40 mm equivalent. Now here are some comments needed. To begin with again I will say colors are amazing, great contrast and a very similar feel to the main sensor in terms of overall image, apart from sometimes having a slight brightness adjustment, being slightly brighter than the main sensor. However, as stated there are some comments and this comes down to dynamic range. Now I know these kinds of shots are very difficult, because a very small space has a lot of light coming through, therefore it makes it hard for the dynamic range to really work well. But because of the dynamic range, it can result in some loss of detail in the windows itself. It's not bad, it's just not as good as the main sensor and it is something worth noting, including some shots having a bit more grainy look around the edges itself. But this only counts for shots that are taken inside with very little light source coming through a small section like those windows. Look at shots outside or look at shots that don't have that kind of harsh light coming through, you don't really have those issues at all.
after the trips that I've taken with the Xiaomi 14, what my camera experience is with it is that it's pretty close to what you get on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, for instance. I'm gonna do a comparison between those two. There are some differences in terms of approach, and you will be able to notice those differences in that separate video. So be sure to subscribe for that video. But when it comes to the 14 and just looking at the 14 separately, I really like it. It's a more compact phone for people who really like that. I like a little bit of a larger display. I don't know why, but I do like that a little bit better. But when it comes to that 3.2 times floating lens, that's something that is an addition to a phone that I really want. And with the 14, it does excellent in that. It's able to capture so many nice pictures with it. And also when it comes to that floating lens, in terms of having that quick focus to things that are close up, it's really good. I would say a little bit better on this than on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Not by a lot, but still a little bit better. And overall, I will say the camera capabilities of this is really good and I can get some really natural pictures. I know people want to see also some portraits, but I'm kind of socially awkward and I don't like disturbing people so there you go I'm sorry I I'm gonna try to find a way to get some proper portraits in because taking one of yourself I, I just feel like you're not able to really get a composition in that looks proper and I, when it comes to photography I really want to do it properly and therefore you don't see much when it comes to that side I've taken some street photography and therefore I would use that 3.2 times zoom of course and showcase a little bit of that portrait possibilities but I feel like if you have a full body it doesn't always naturally work it feels a little bit off but with that being said it was still able to capture some great shots with that style Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and of course, don't forget to subscribe, like and everything. Comment below, it really does help out with the algorithm. Either way, have a good one and talk to you guys in the next.